Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make a video about how to get dressed in the halo and what I found to work best for me. So initially when the halo was installed, I was in the hospital. So I had a hospital gown and honestly, that I think was the best scenario. So that's an option. You could wear a hospital gown, but uh, we're currently in Europe and it's kind of frowned upon in Europe to continue wearing a hospital gown. They really want you to start wearing normal clothes as soon as possible. So I felt like this was a little bit different, at least from my experience being in a hospital in America, where you generally stay in your hospital gown as long as you're admitted. But maybe that was just my experience. So here, when they wanted me to start getting dressed, I was kind of like, um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. So the doctor recommended buying clothes, cutting them, and adding Velcro. That was a good option, but didn't really have time to do that while I was in the hospital. And so I told my husband that maybe he could find some clothes that were large enough to fit over the halo. So that, to me, was going to be the best solution. So um, depending on your halo, they all come in different sizes, there's going to be a different amount of space that you'll have to get over. But for me, I found that getting extra large, I think these are, well again, they're European sizes, but like 1X or 2X nightgowns, that the uh, neck area was large enough and stretchy enough that I could fit it around the halo. So that's what I have done for the most part is choose clothes that go down over the halo. So at that time he went and found several items for me. He got a lot of these nightgowns as well as some button up shirts, which are also another really good option. And I was able to use those right away. So I was able to use these right away in the hospital. Um, I did have some issue fitting my arms into them because at the time, I mentioned this in a previous video, I was having a really hard time lifting my arms up. So I think that that was a combination of where the halo vests, you can kind of see I tucked my shirt in here. You can kind of see where it rests on, on my shoulders and um, I think that it was a little painful. The pressure initially was painful. During the car accident, my sternum was fractured. So with that, there could be some pain in my shoulders as well. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different, but for me personally, it was harder for me to lift my arms up and so I needed clothes that were as stretchy as possible. The, the button up shirts that were a very large size as well as the very large size nightgowns were very convenient for me. You could also do large t-shirts and that sort of thing. Now I did have two items already that I did not specially purchase for the halo and those were both from Old Navy. One was a dress that's very, it's made out of cotton and it's very stretchy. I'm able to wear that and also a very loose fitting tank top and the tank top recently I saw was still available on Old Navy's website, so I will link that below in the description, and that way you can kind of check that out, but that one does stretch over it, and I can wear jeans with that, or shorts, and so that makes me feel a little bit more like a human. And I have seen a lot of people put clothes on under their halo. So I personally tried that, and I did not like it at all. It felt very tight, very constricting, and it was just a simple spaghetti strap tank top. So for me right now, I currently do not wear anything under my halo. So I don't have any clothes on in between the halo vest and my skin. And that has worked really well for me. Now, the time of year that I'm in a halo has been early spring, so like the end of winter, early spring. Hasn't been very hot. If it was very hot, I would probably consider wearing a tank top to absorb any sweat. My halo vest is lined with this, they call it sheepskin. 
We're not really sure if that's what it is or not, but um, it's gonna be very warm. As soon as the weather starts warming up, where I'm living, it's actually been a little bit colder than usual this time of year, so that's been wonderful for the halo vest. But I choose not to wear anything under it. So um, obviously when I go to get it removed, I will wear something under it, but that was just kind of my choice. And I don't know, um, some people might feel more comfortable. Everybody's vest is different. That's one thing that I have noticed. Some vests are bigger, some are smaller, some are tighter, some are looser. And so anyways, I uh, mentioned this before, but I'm a little claustrophobic and feel, being able to feel the air kind of move under the halo without a shirt actually helps me to feel better. So if you're feeling confined, I would encourage you to try wearing something over your halo rather than under it. Also breathing seems to be, feels easier when I'm wearing something over the halo. So um, in addition to that, I did have to have a loose sweater to wear over. Um, there are, see if I can turn around. So these poles back here go down and they kind of poke out a little bit on my back. So anytime that someone is helping me get dressed, we have to make sure to pull them over those little rods back there just so that they are fitting properly. Um, I've typically worn leggings or loose fitting pants. I had a really good friend do a fundraiser for me and send me a ton of LuLaRoe leggings and shirts and that has been awesome. So if you know somebody who sells LuLaRoe and I will link my friend's uh, site below in the description, but that is an amazing idea. So if you're in a Halo or if you know somebody in a Halo, send them some LuLaRoe leggings because they're so comfortable and they're cute. And that's really what you want when you're in this because you can't, you don't really feel cute. <laughs> so um, that is a great option. And I've worn flip flops, sandals, as well as tennis shoes. In the beginning, I only felt comfortable in tennis shoes because I wanted to feel, I was very nervous about falling. And um, in the beginning, you might feel like that as well. So tennis shoes seem to work really well and um, as far as if I'm able to get myself dressed or if I needed help. So when I first started looking at YouTube videos about getting dressed, I was like, wow, these people are getting themselves dressed. You know, there was videos of people showing how they put a tank top on under their halo vest and how they popped a shirt on and I was just like, what? Like, I can't even lift my arms up to touch my eye right now so I'm not really sure what's going on and I was not on a bunch of pain medication that was a little discouraging to me so I want to be very honest about that in the beginning for me I could not put on my own underwear I could not put on my own socks or shoes I needed somebody to help me with everything and so that was definitely a huge commitment on my helpers part so my husband my mom of course the nurses in the hospital they had to help me with those kinds of things there's no way that I was going to be able to do it on my own slowly over time I was able to bend my legs a little bit more comfortably and move around because when I'm sitting in an upright position like this, I'm not having discomfort. In the beginning, when I would bend forward or even move to the side, that would cause me quite a bit of pain. So I wanted to move as little as possible. And so that's why it was very important to have people help me. Slowly, as I started to improve, I was able to put my socks on. I was able to tie my shoes on my own. And most recently, within the past few weeks, which I'm on week 11 right now, within the past few weeks, I've also been able to take my arms out of my shirt by myself and lift it over my head to take it off. So I still cannot put the clothes on by myself. I'm sure if I was in a situation where I didn't have somebody to help me, maybe I would have bought only button-up shirts because I can do those on my own. 
but for the nightgowns and the t-shirts, I still need help getting them over the halo. That's basically how clothing has worked for me. Um, I don't really have a difference. Like pajamas and day clothes are kind of the same thing for me right now. And that's okay. So um, that is how I have been able to clothe myself in the halo. And I am so happy that I am coming to the end of my halo journey. Depending on what season it currently is for you whenever you're in the halo. And also depending on what you find to be most comfortable. Um, there's a lot of different options for you. That's what's really worked for me with getting dressed with a halo and I'm sure that other people have other things that work best for them so you do what works for you obviously. I just wanted to share what has worked for me because in the beginning I didn't really have a lot of ideas and neither did my doctors so um, I really feel like it's helpful to take a lot of different ideas and combine them together to find out what works best for you. I would really appreciate it if you can like this video, comment below with any ideas that have worked well for you, as well as sharing this video with anybody who you think could benefit from knowing this information. My whole goal in making these videos is that more people will know what to do or have different ideas of what to do when they're in a halo and that way living in the halo can be easier for everybody. I'm working on making more videos right now covering different topics about living in the halo and I'm also going to track my journey as soon as the halo is off. I have no idea what that will look like and I honestly haven't found that much information on YouTube about that specific topic. So I want to cover things like getting my halo removed, which does happen to be on YouTube, but afterwards, you know, how, how do I feel? How am I sleeping? How, how is my recovery going? Am I doing physical therapy? Am I able to move around quickly? Can I drive? Those sorts of questions that we all wanna know. So definitely keep checking back onto my channel. Um, subscribe, that way you can see all of the videos that I've mentioned and I hope that you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Let's see, is this a good angle? Is that better? I just like taking up space randomly on my camera so that I can just like not have enough space on my SD card. It keeps changing.